January 2016. A month which actually is giving appraisal to the sun, which is actually bringing forward the energies, the fire energies into the forefront. But surprisingly, January is also a month where we have to initiate and consolidate. In January, we are always consolidating ourselves of what we have done in the past. So we need to ground ourselves. Now, to initiate and to ground ourselves for the coming years or for the coming months or for the future, it's very important for our mind energies or mental energies to be alert. So we need a combination of the fire energy and the earth energy. Fire energies gives us the courage to face. It gives us the courage to initiate things. And earth energies consolidate us. So the stone for the month is the stone garnet. Now, the way I have garnet here for you all, this garnet is maroon in color. It is blackish red. Red gives fire energies. The combination of black and red gives a little bit of maroon which gives us earth energies. Now, what are exactly the properties of garnet? Uh, while talking about garnet and while saying that they are a combination of the fire and the earth energies, you know what the history says? Well, since antiquity, garnets have been famous for their inner sparkle. Garnets were always known as the wise one. Hildgard von Bingen prescribed garnet to strengthen the heart. Now, he was a doctor, okay, in the olden days prescribed garnet to strengthen the heart while our Indian mythology well the garnet is called the kundalini fire I mean it just awakens your kundalinis when you're meditating it just gives you that strength in your mind that you actually find answers to the questions that you have it actually gives you the thought process works so fast that when you're wearing your garnet if there is a problem, you have solutions to it. Now basically the garnet is not producing solutions. The garnet has kindled the fire energy in you. Your brains become sharp enough and you are able to handle the life the way you want to. So the kundalini fire, which is actually the fire of internal or eternal metamorphosis of life in Hinduism. And Buddhism. It, see, it is seen as the holy stone that enlightens the soul and gives you the wisdom. So now you know when your soul is enlightened, your my, uh, mind becomes energetic, you become wise. Obviously the problems get solved. In astrological factors, we uh, whenever a client comes and says, oh I need to make money, my money is stuck. That's the time I say, hey, let me work on the calculations and let me give you the stone where you are lacking. That's when I prescribe the various stones. Necessarily, garnet may not be for everyone because if your fire is overabundant, then I can't give you garnet. But since we are talking about the stone for the month of January, we need to warm up. It's a cold season. We need to warm up. Our brains are frozen. I need to open them up. I need to bring in that vivre. I need to bring in that courage. I need to bring in the creativity. So garnet hold good for 100% for everyone. But only in the month of January. So what are the healing properties of garnet? Garnet is said to help in the treatment of disturbed blood circulation and it strengthens your heart. So your nervous problems are sorted out. You stop becoming nervous because now your thought process is in uh, the correct path and you will be able to find your answers, right? So it brings vitality during the catabolic process and strengthens your memory. In passionate people, 
the stone can also release negative energy. Many of you there would have noticed at times we love a person or we love a job. But at the same time we feel a kind of a constraint and we feel as if I do want to do it, I know I can do it but I am just not able to come forward to do it. That is the time when this garnet makes a lot of difference. This garnet helps us into releasing that negative energies which is obstructing us. We become confident, we become powerful in our own selves and we go and grab opportunities. We go and profess our sincere love to the person concerned, thus resulting in the happiness of our mind and of our heart. Now what are the magical properties that Garnet brings? Garnet symbolizes constructiveness in life. The mystics believe it brightens the dark souls and brings hope to people. It's very important in life that we need to have an incentive to do something. How does incentive come? when we hope that the situations will materialize. So what do the mystics believe? They believe that garnet is a stone which brings in constructiveness, it brings in hope to people and you are able to strengthen your mind and make your heart powerful enough to wake up and go and do the things. What are the chakra classifications? I have spoken at length about the seven chakras that are in our body, right? To just make it very brief again, where the chakra is going to help us. So what are the seven chakras? The crown chakra, then we have the forehead uh, chakra, we have the throat chakra, we have a heart chakra, we have a solar plexus chakra and we have our root chakra. Now, where, which chakra does garnet help? You know, normally in January, the root and the sacral chakra do get a little either overpassionate or they are underpassionate. Okay, so garnet is particularly good and works best on your sacral chakra and your root chakra. So your intuitions become sharper. Okay, you become very passionate because you are active in your mind and your body. Anyone, anyone subject to depression should always carry a garnet as it encourages feelings of joy, willpower and hope. While its fiery color drives away the tiredness and stimulates your imagination. They are noted. They are noted for they have powerful protective energies. People who feel that they are surrounded by negative energies, actually those energies are broken and you feel a kind of protection around you because you are completely positive and strong in your mind and nervous self. They also possess medicinal abilities. They reduce the toxins and heals your emotional problems. Your toxins of your bodies are released through your skin. So obviously the emotional problems become much better. Garnets alleviate bad dreams while other medicinal men used it to provide a curative for mental depression. Over and over again the legends mention garnets for their strong curative powers. So garnet was a very very popular medicinal stone that was used to create depression. Uh, sorry, to alleviate depression. Once it's the depression is alleviated, obviously you are excited enough and you have an incentive to lead a life which is worth living. Right? So, garnets can act as strong help to balance the energies in your body, stimulate your desires and uplift your mood. They prevent fears of insecurity and even money losses. They are considered as lucky stones, lucky for love, lucky for success, lucky for your goals. Garnet is also known as an executive stone because when you are in power of yourself, you can actually get things done 
and generally you need to be in power of yourself you need to be wise for the future you need to set set the ball rolling for the future so generally garnets is very very lucky use your garnet to increase your popularity for everyone likes a positive high uh, person now when you're wearing a garnet Obviously, you're very positive, you're, you're very cheerful because you tend to see things in a different new light. And that's where you start attracting people towards you because everyone likes a positive persona and a happy person. It enhances personal self-esteem and boosts confidence in an individual. As an energy stone, a garnet encourages success in business relationships. Not only in personal relationships, but also business relationships are enhanced. They make wonderful executive stones. So to bring in zinc and that extra shine to your personality, wear a garnet. In order to achieve your health, wealth and happiness. Only you have to ensure that you are wearing a correct stone and not a colored stone. You have to ensure that they are properly tested by the laboratory. There is no dearth of garnets in the market, but it's very important to consult an expert before wearing a stone. Getting the stone from the correct place, a person who is well versed and well knowledgeable, that is very, very important. When I'm speaking about the gems, I also deal in gems and I do help my clients procure the best gems.